All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is up? And welcome to the first ever episode of a little podcast I would like to call Write a Review. Now, before we get started, I wanted to say that this is not in cooperation with the CFL or the Writers Organization. Um, this is basically just going to be a podcast I do after every Writers game. I'll probably release it the day after. I don't know. We're still working out the kinks. By where I mean I am. But we will work on it as we go. Um, so this episode is about the first preseason game that the Riders played uh, against the BC Lions. Um, and I want to first uh, start by uh, saying that they won 30-27, to 27, if you guys watched that. Um, and first things first, I want to start off by chatting about Jake Dolagala. Um, now, Dolagala, his stat line on the day, he played the first quarter of the game, I think. I believe it was the first quarter. Uh, and he went 12 for 17 for 97 yards. Uh, and, that, and he didn't have a touchdown or an interception. And uh, that makes up about 71% completion percentage. So, um, there was a lot of talk going into the game about whether or not he makes backup or not. Because uh, there was a competition between him, Mason Fine, and Shea Patterson. Uh, Mason Fine had the better record of uh, three, uh, throwing and making mm -hmm. 80% of his passes. Uh, however, he did have an interception straight to Regina Product, Ryder right Varga. Um, which, I mean, happens, you know. Uh, Mason Fine, uh, last season, he came in. He uh, was the backup quarterback for the last two games. Uh, he started, and he... Um, I don't think he was really it for the Riders, uh, which is why um, there's a big competition now. Um, and in the first preseason game, um, personally, uh, I really, really liked the way Jake Dolgala performed. Um, now, obviously he wasn't perfect or the best player by any means, but just the way he looked, he looked so composed and he looked ready to be there, you know? And I'm, that's not to say, like, the other quarterbacks didn't, um... However, uh, Shea Patterson did give me a little bit of uh, Cody Fajardo vibes. Uh, there was one play where he went like 20 yards behind the line of scrimmage while he was scrambling and he did the turning. And, you know, it, it brought back some memories of how Cody Fajardo would be running backwards and uh, running around and doing all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, uh, personally, uh, as of the first preseason game, I do believe Jake Dolagala has the best shot. Uh, and then I think... Mesa Fine, uh, if anything, will be the third string. Uh, but we still have to go through another preseason game. And, I mean, we don't really find out till I believe it's June 4th. So, that's going to be an interesting thing to be watching out for as we go through the preseason here. Now, um, the second thing I wanted to really touch on here is the Riders' offensive line. Um... During the offseason, the Riders went through a lot of turnover. Um, obviously, when you give up 77 sacks uh, the season prior, something has to change. Um, they went into this game with oddly big expectations. And for the most part, I feel like they... Uh, met those expectations. Um, I don't have the exact stats, but I think they might have given up one sack. Um, however, um, I think the biggest thing that kind of felt off was Logan Bandy coming in at uh, center. Uh, as a big Riders fan myself, um, seeing Dan Clark leave during the offseason, it was, it was kind of a tough a tough pill to swallow, but I mean, after you have a season like the Riders did last year, I mean, changes have to happen, and you know, there are casualties that 
are made. Um, but when Bandy came in, I mean, Bandy looked like a natural playing at that center position. Um, and he played across the offensive line last season. And I think that center spot just, I think that's his best spot. Um, I think it's because he spent a year learning behind probably one of the best ever centers we will ever see in the CFL. Um, now, that's not to say that Logan Bandy is going to be the best center. I mean, if he is, that's great for the Riders. But, um, yeah, looking to the future, I'm excited to see what this kid does. And, um, yeah, it's going to be great. Um, however, there uh, there were a few penalties that the offensive line took. Um that could have been avoided, as there is in pretty much every single game. Um, there were tempers flaring everywhere. Um, I think one of the plays, Shea Patterson, uh, went back and he fumbled the ball. And I think he took a hit late hit, which was um, unnecessary for the BC Lions. Um, and I, they really just, um, the offensive line just didn't like that. Um, personally, um, I can see mm -hmm. where they're coming mm -hmm. from. As a former offensive lineman myself, uh, mm -hmm. I like the energy they put into um, protecting their quarterback. And when somebody comes along and hits your quarterback, it's never a great thing. So, I mean, it's good that they stood up for for uh patterson but i feel like they can control themselves a little bit more um but yeah that's pretty much uh all i had to say uh for the riders offensive line um and last but not least uh i have to give credit where it is due for the bc lions um they had this uh i think he's a rookie receiver aiden eberhardt uh who went six uh, who, who caught six passes for uh, for 104 yards on the day. Um, he is a talented receiver. That, like, I don't know what else I can say. Um, the kid looked like a natural out there. He was catching passes on the sideline, and he was making good moves. Um, what else can you say about a guy like that? Um, I think the BC Lions have stumbled onto a really, really good guy. Um... Yeah, uh, that is pretty much it. That is all I have for today's first episode of the Rider Review. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys leave a like on this video and um, comment and share. Give me uh, give me some suggestions on how I can improve. Um, I'm looking to get a co-host, so. If anybody out there is living in the Regina area and wants to, sorry, and wants to come co-host this podcast with me, uh, give me a shout and uh, I hope you can go over to my Instagram and DM me at Caden Hardy and um, yeah, I just, um, yeah, I'm going to try and make this better as I go along. Uh, hopefully I can, you know, maybe get some guests on and um yeah, hopefully these podcasts get longer as the as we go along. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And um, I'll see, see you guys next week after the Riders game in Winnipeg where Trevor Harris will make his first start as a Saskatchewan Rough Rider.